Anil? Oh, Anil is awesome. Anil is, again, another consummate professional. Anil, our, our photographer, uh, Anil is a great guy too. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of jumped into curling. There's that little crowd of uh, Thornhill people that uh, Anil knows and, uh, you know, George Carries, who used to be my teammate and uh, they go way back. Anil Mungo was a good high school friend and uh, stayed a little bit in touch after high school and I know he was working at IBM and then all of a sudden one day he announced, I am now a photographer. <laughs> Well, Neil's another character, a character that's part of our, uh, uh, of our group, you know, a photographer, fantastic guy, always in a great mood and uh, takes awesome pictures. Well, my name's Anil Mungo, I'm a photographer and specifically I shoot a lot of curling. The photography skills that Anil brings out onto the ice, he, he really develops, you know, what uh, photography work is for the sport. I just think he's fantastic. He's brought a lot of creativity to the sport when it comes to the media side of things and his photography is pretty much self-explanatory. He's, he's excellent. It's got an interesting dynamic. Um, it's not a contact sport. It's very much something that uh, everyone seems to be very much in control and it's quite a challenge to get an interesting image that conveys the emotion, conveys the action. Um, and also you're in a confined environment as far as the lighting, it's always very flat and there's a lot of challenges involved in getting a good photo and I think I like, I enjoy that challenge. He was pretty good right at the start, I have to say. Had a bit of a natural talent and learned uh, the ins and outs of shooting curling and now he's the, the photo editor of the Curling News and a shooter for the Grand Slam and goes to all the events and starting to know almost as many people in the sport as I do. <laughs> I put a lot of pressure on Anil to get me images, get me photos, get me headshots. And, you know, he con he's always delivering and he's been a big reason we've been able to keep the World Curling Tour website up to date with headshots of everyone. Obviously he loves the sport, he's, he's around it, he's at charity events, he's at everything he can be. I saw him at the Olympics, he's, uh, you know, and I think he's a big, big fan of the Grand Slam of Curling. I'd love to see curling get to the point where it's something like the NHL where there's tons of games going on, you know, maybe a professional league where there's actually athletes that are specifically curlers, curlers first. You know, allow players to promote themselves and sell themselves a little bit better and Anil is, is a huge part of that. Again, another guy who's, who's coming out and, and just growing the sport through his, through his you know, his, his, his work and, and uh, again, uh, the quality of the stuff that he does is, is fantastic and again, we're lucky, we're lucky that he's, he's involved with, uh, with the sport. I think if you look at curling, you know, just sort of underneath the, what you see on the TV, there's very much almost like a curling family. Everybody, a lot of people that are involved in the sport are in it because they love the sport. Um, they're not in it for the money. Um, a lot of times there isn't a lot of money to begin with. They're there really because they love the game. They want to see the game become bigger and better. And um, I consider myself part of that as well.